So when applying lip color, the first thing I like to do is sort of smooth out the whole area. So I take my foundation brush with the tiniest amount of product on there and just gently go over the entire lip. It kind of primes the lip and sets the stage for the lipstick you're going to apply. Don't cover the entire lip, otherwise it can look a little funny, but more along the edges. Then what I like to do is I like to pick an, a color that complements the blush that you choose. If you're Asian, you tend to have a yellow undertone, so I tend to go towards the pinkier colors. There are a million lip colors out there, and the truth is you can pretty much make any of them work, but as a rule of thumb, I do like to complement the cheeks to the lips. Today I'm gonna to use a lip brush because I'm working on a model, but when you're at home, there's nothing wrong with applying the lipstick directly to your lips. And there's no real amazing trick to it. You just wanna put it on your entire lip and cover the area. Using a lip brush will give you more precision than a lipstick tube, but don't feel like you need to run out and buy one. Another great rule of thumb is if your eyes are more natural, then you can go a little bit darker or deeper or brighter on your lip. And if your eyes are a little more smoky, you might wanna take it down a notch and keep it really neutral. Right now we've got sort of false lashes on and some eyeliner, so I'm going somewhere in the middle. And again, it nicely complements her cheek. So again, when you're putting your lipstick on, First and foremost, pick a color that you're drawn to, that you really like. And then second of all, think about what the rest of your face looks like, what your cheek color is like, what, how much eye makeup you have on, and play with cooler, brighter colors, especially if you have a yellow undertone.